All right, David Can here with another IB question bank question in the style of what you find in your Hasten Harris Math SL textbook in chapter 8C.3. In this question, we're given some information about an angle. We're told that its vertical component is 1 half, and its horizontal component is negative root 3 on 2. We're also told that it's somewhere in the first rotation between 0 and 360 degrees. And we're told to find the value of theta. So since we're given information about its horizontal and vertical components, I think it would be wise to draw a unit circle. Okay. Now we know that the vertical component is positive one-half. So we go up in the positive direction halfway. And the angle has to have this vertical component. There's only two possibilities. There's an angle over here, and there's an angle over here. So it has to be either this angle or this angle. But we're also told that the horizontal component is negative root 3 on 2. So we're on the negative side of the x-axis, and we're all the way out at negative root 3 on 2. So that's past a half, that's past 0.707, that's all the way out here at 0.866. And there's two possibilities. There's that one, and there's that one. So this angle meets the sine criteria. This angle meets the cosine criteria. But only this angle meets both, and it has to meet both. So we know that's not right. We know that's not right. We know that, uh, that this has to be the angle. Now, which angle is it? Well, it's not a quarter. So since we're talking about major angles on the unit circle, it has to be a sixth. And it has to be one, two, three, four, five sixths of pi. Five pi on six. So that means theta has to be five pi on six. All right, that's part A. For part B, we want to find the exact value of the tangent of theta. Well, we know what theta is, so if you know your tangent unit circle, then you know the exact value of the tangent of theta. But you might not, because it doesn't come up as much. If you don't know the tangent unit circle, then there's still an easy way to answer this, because we know that the tangent of theta is rise sine over run cosine. And we know sine and cosine. Sine is 1 half, that's given in the beginning. And cosine is negative root 3 on 2. That was also given. The 2's cancel. And we get negative 1 on root 3. That is part of the major angles on the unit circle for tangent. So if you might just know that off the top of your head. And if that's the case, I'm sure you can just write the answer down here.